Good afternoon everyone. I figure I haven't made a video in a while. So I thought today I'd make a short clip about how to polish diamond plate on a fire truck. So diamond plate is this surface here, which you see is covered in diamonds as it were. They're called obviously diamond plate because it's shaped like a diamond. Diamond plate is usually aluminum and I know for a fact that this is aluminum. Although I understand it comes in stainless steel as well, but that's typically not as um, not as common. So I'm going to do a small section today just to kind of walk you through the process. Uh, and I'm actually going to do this section down here right below the operator's panel. So as you can see, look up close at this, you can see that this is probably the worst section out of the entire truck. Uh, and the reasons for that I think are probably threefold. Um, one, the truck has never, I, I don't really actually think the truck has ever been polished before since it was new based on the condition of the diamond plate. Two, this is a very strange area. As you can see, it's here below the operator's panel. It's kind of tough to reach. Uh, and three, uh, my understanding is that the city of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, where this truck came from, has pretty hard water. And so as you can imagine, uh, 25 years of drips and dribbles have led to all sorts of um, deposits and and um, corrosion and that type of thing. And you can see here even the, some of the steel um, on the panel has corroded as well. But we're not going to worry about that today. We're just going to worry about the strip of diamond plate right here. You might be wondering why this step is covered up in paper. Uh, this step was also extremely rough and I spent probably probably way too much time polishing it, like maybe over an hour. And uh, I really would like to keep it nice while I work on these other areas around here. So I decided to, to cover it off with some masking paper and uh, to try and keep chemicals and other things like that off of it. So the products I'm gonna be using today are from a company called California Customs. Um, they sell their goods, uh, from what I can tell, mostly on Amazon. I'm going to be using two products. The first one is this aluminum deoxidizer. And I've actually put the aluminum deoxidizer into a spray bottle so I could apply it easier. Um, when you buy it, when you open the package, it comes in a bottle like this. But like I just said, I put it in a spray bottle to make it easier to spray on. And then the second product we're going to use is the California Custom Purple Polish. Um, I have been struggling with how to polish this diamond plate for three months now. And I've tried all sorts of different things. And um, this seems to work the best. Um, I have also used Mother's Aluminum Polish, uh, which works very well as well. Or it's called Magnet Aluminum Polish. It works very well. Um, but in my experience, this works the best. And it's, it's expensive. Um, but it just really saves you what, you. what you spend in product, you save a lot on time. So one of the tools... So one of the tools that I'm going to be using for to polish this strip is going to be our trusty hand drill, which I have affixed a um, Velcro wheel to, and so I can put on one of these small uh, polishing pads. This one is used, as you can tell, but I tend to kind of use them until they're uh, until they're they fall apart. Um, so I have my drill with the polishing pad ready to go, and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my aluminum deoxidizer and I'm going to spray it onto this strip that we're going to be polishing. So this spray bottle kind of stinks, so it take me a few sprays to get it going. Now, while I'm doing this, um, one thing I'll say is, you know, this aluminum deoxidizer from California Custom goes for a pretty penny. It's $20 for 12 ounces. Uh, and I strongly suspect, based on the smell and the action of this product that it's very similar to any aluminum lightener type product that you could buy at Napa Auto Parts or another auto parts store. Um, so I think in the future I might just use some aluminum brightener instead since it costs like one tenth as much. So I sprayed on the aluminum deoxidizer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cloth here, clean cloth, and I'm just going to rub it in. Gonna rub it in. And what this does is it loosens any oxides or any other junk that's stuck to the diamond plate aluminum. 
in preparation for the power chip. So the instructions say spray it on, let it soak for a few minutes, but let it dry rather, and then you can go ahead and proceed with your polishing. Now the other thing I want to mention is that this is, like I said, this um, diamond plate is in very bad shape. I never, I will never expect to get it to look like new. And honestly, that's fine um, because really this fire truck is not a, you know, it's not a trophy winning show piece. It's literally, it's just for me to drive around with my family for fun and do parades and stuff like that. So I really don't need it to look perfect. I just want it to look not terrible like it looks now. So if you take a quick look here, you can see the overspray. See some of the overspray landed over here and caused this aluminum to turn white. And that's why I covered up the step with this paper because um, I don't want the same thing to happen. Now, who knows, it might soak through and I might have to polish this stuff again, but at least trying to avoid any rework that I can avoid, trying to anyways. So we're just gonna let this finish drying. Feels pretty dry. Just give it a few more seconds. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get our purple metal polish ready to go, shake it up. It tends to separate after it's been sitting for a while. I'm gonna shake it up, and then I'm gonna put some pretty good dollop on my polishing pad here. And then I'm gonna try and, try and distribute it a little bit along this line. And then I'm just gonna start polishing, and honestly, there's no, there's no secret to this. I mean, it just takes a really long time. And, um, you know, heck, just uh, be ready for it to take a while. Unfortunately, my paper is already coming apart, so oh well, it was a good idea while it lasted. So after you've done the polishing, the next thing I do is I get a buffing um, towel and I just start to rub off the polish. And you can see here, honestly, this turned out pretty good pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's already a reflection starting to form. Most of the corrosion on the outside seems to be removed. Um, the, I found that the trick is to really spend a lot of time doing your final buff. Um, I think in, in the areas that I have larger surfaces to do, I'll probably get out my VA buffer and put a terry cloth bonnet on it and do it that way because this is takes a long time. But like I said, this area is so kind of hidden. Um, there's almost no way to get a tool down here, so that's why I'm just doing it manually. Alright, so this is looking pretty good already. So, for comparison, You can see down here, this area here, this is really what it looked like before. And then over here, looking much better. In fact, if you look closely, you can kind of see the reflection of the camera. Hold on, I'm filming, okay? You need to wait. So we got before, 
and after. And I'll probably go back and buff this again, um, just because I think we can get some more shine out of this, but as you can tell, uh, it, it works pretty well. So let's just go into time-lapse mode here and finish the rest of the strip and then we'll show you the results at the end. And there you have it. So like I said, here's your before, looks something like this. Uh, I don't, you can't really see any type of reflection in here. Then after, looks like this. And if I zoom in, you can actually see the back of my the back of my phone there, moving back and forth. Now, is it perfect? Oh, heck no. Um, like I said, this truck is not gonna win any awards. Um, but what it is gonna do well is it's gonna look great at block parties and parades and other fun summer activities like that. So, one more for you here. This was before and after. All right, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.